My name is Joshua Debner and I recently did an astrobotic technology photo shoot of Red Rover. We wanted to create images that appeared as if the rover was on the moon. There are many points on the moon where the sun appears as if it is at a very low viewing angle. In order to simulate this we use small strobes that would be able to be placed at relatively the same kind of angle that would create the high contrast, high shadow images. The problem with our small strobes was that they weren't very powerful, and in order for us to overpower the ambient, we had to get there early in the morning. So we woke up and we left by 7, and we were able to get there before the bright sun was out. It was also a fairly cloudy day, so because of the overcast, we were actually able to continue shooting until 10. We were shooting out in the open, trying to get glory shots and lunar looking shots that would be dramatic and interesting for media purposes. We kept to a super simple lighting setup since we were only trying to simulate the one light of the sun. So the light was usually 45 to 90 degrees to the photographer's left, high and above the robot. We switched off between using one and two flashes depending on how much power we needed. We wanted to use most of the images as is, but for a couple of the shots, our post-process plans were to take out the sky, put in a night sky, put in an earth, add some stars, and then desaturate the ground a little bit to make it look more like lunar regolith. Overall, the shots came out great, and probably the hardest part of the whole photo shoot was dragging the robot up to the spots that I kept telling people where I wanted to take pictures. It's nice to have a model that does exactly what you tell it to do.